Hey kids, today we're going to learn about how to use the triple bead balance. Let's dig right in. So, this is the triple bead balance, but before we actually learn how to use the triple bead balance, let's hear a story. Once upon a time, there was a tiny little blonde girl uh, named, let's call her Goldilocks. This is Goldilocks. Hi, hey, I'm Goldilocks. Goldilocks was a criminal. You see, Goldilocks had a habit of uh, breaking and entering. She would go to people's houses, break into their houses, and um, go in and, you know, s sleep in their beds and eat their food and all that. So one day, Goldilocks decided that she was going to go to a bear's house. And she didn't know this at the time, but there were three bears. There was the Papa Bear. Papa Bear. There was Mama Bear. And then, of course, there was Baby Bear. I'm Baby Bear! Yeah, and one day, the three bears decided to go out and leave their house unattended. Oh, yeah! Yeah! And Goldilocks seized her opportunity, and she decided that she was going to break into the house. Yeah! And when she broke into the house, she decided to eat their food. She got to the table, and she saw a, a bowl of beef. There was hot beef. And she ate that hot beef, and she's like, Ow, oh, it's too hot! And then she came across another pile of beef at the table. It was cold beef. And she ate the beef, and she's like, Oh, this beef is too cold! And then she found another bowl of beef, and this beef was just right. Oh, this beef is just right! Right, so we had hot beef which happened to be Papa Bear's beef. We had cold beef, which actually was Mama Bear's beef. And then we had just right beef, which was Baby Bear's beef. Now, as the story goes, she always tried Papa Bear stuff first, then Mama Bear stuff, then Baby Bear stuff. And what ended up happening was she realized that in order for her to use the triple B mallets, she would have to go in the same order. We start with Papa Bear's beef, Mama Bear's beef, then we go to Baby Bear's beef. So if we look at the actual triple beam mallets, you'll see that there are three beams on here. Um, here's the pan. Oh, cool. And if we push down on the pan, you'll see that this side goes up and down. The triple beam mallets refers to the three beams. This is the triple part. Here's one beam, which we're gonna call Papa Bear. Here's Mama Bear Beam, and here's Baby Bear Beam, all right? So the biggest, fattest one is the Papa Bear, the medium one is Mama Bear, and the littlest one is Baby Bear. Over here we have two lines. Now, one of these lines is on the actual bouncy part, and the other line right here with the zero on it is stationary. So what we're going to do is every time we start to use the triple beam balance, we make sure that all of these little weights on the triple beams, all of them are pushed all the way to the left, as close to the pad as possible. Let's do this! Holy <coughs> 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 locks got nothing. Uh, and I push everything all the way over to the zero, so I wanted to read zero, zero, zero. All right? Now, when I read zero, 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 and there's nothing on it, theoretically, Theoretically, these two lines should be balanced out. Should be at its, oh yeah, kind of. Oh no, I think I have a bad balance. It's like kind of sticking. Over here, it's a little knob. And that usually, this one is out too far. That usually helps me get things in order. I have a bad balance though, I can feel it. So what I do is I just keep twisting this knob. Oh, no, there we go. And I twist, twist, twist. Until when I let it go, these two lines line up. Are we there? We're getting close? Yeah, we're, we're close. We're almost there. Just a little bit. I'm not even looking, sorry. I was looking at the thing, not at the screen. All right, here we go. We're close. 
kind of close. I'm going to twist this just a little bit more and get that get that right to the zero. Now yours doesn't have to be perfect. If it's if it's close, we're good. When there's nothing on it, these two lines should bounce up to zero. All right, that's good. Is that good? It's pretty good. It's good enough. Good enough for me. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to weigh something. Now let's take something and let's measure it. Should we start with, I don't know, let's start with Papa Bear. So here's Papa Bear. Oh, oh. Papa Bear is going to climb up there and Papa Bear is going to sit on the balance. Now you'll notice as, so, as soon as something goes on the balance, this whole side went flying up. That's good. That's exactly what we want. So as soon as we put something on the balance, it flies upwards and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to move these little scale weights all the way over until these things get back to zero again so what do we do we always start with Papa Bear now you'll notice on the triple B mounts there's these little grooves and as you slide these things over you'll be able to feel it slide and fall into a groove so if I push it you can hear it click in and you can also feel it when you actually do it and what I want to do is I want to keep sliding this over until it gets too heavy, until that line drops all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to keep moving them over. Nope. Nope. It didn't work. Papa Bear's too heavy. Sorry, Papa Bear. They're going away. Let's not measure Papa Bear. He's too heavy. <laughs> Let's try Mama Bear. Mama Bear, get on that skill. So as soon as I put Mama Bear on, that goes to zero. I'm going to do the same thing. Mama Bear's not heavy enough. <laughs> this is just like the story of the three bears. Let me find something else. I want to find something else. Um, what should we use? Tissue box bear. Let's try a tissue box bear. All right. I'm going to put tissue box bear on top, and this should work. All right. I'm going to move this all the way over until it gets, until it falls into the notch that's too heavy. All right. And now you saw it fly down. So now I'm gonna keep moving it backwards till it's not too heavy enough. And it's there. All right, so at 400, it was too heavy, um, but I wanna move it back one notch. I wanna go back to 300. That was the Papa Bear. And then we go to Mama Bear, that's the middle one. So now I'm gonna keep this moving this over notch by notch until it gets too heavy. And that one is too heavy. So once it's too heavy, I move it backwards one. And now I'm going to slide Baby Bear over and over and over until those lines line up. Uh-oh. I got a problem. My balance is sticky. This is a bad balance. Let's try this. <laughs> I think I might have to start over this whole entire video. Ah! Hold on, let me get a new balance. I'm going to throw this one in the garbage. This is garbage. Let me get another balance. Throw up here in the cabinet. Okay. Start over, put these all back to zero. Make sure these line up. Oh, it's good, it's good. Shh. Tissue box bear goes on, that goes up. We start with Papa Bear. We move this over notch by notch until it gets too heavy, and then it falls. Too heavy. Once it falls, we move backwards one space until it slides into space. There it is. All right, now I move Mama Bear over until it falls. Ooh. Mama Bear might be good right there. That's not Mama Bear, Tissue Box Bear. I mean, like Mama Bear slide. Um, that's actually good. That's, I think that's good. So all I'm going to do now to read this, once these lines balance out, is I just add up all the numbers. So I had 300 plus 10 
plus zero, point zero. So I think my answer for how much is this tissue box, what's the mass of this tissue box, my answer would be 310 grams. All right, I'm measuring in grams. G is for grams. 300 plus 10 plus zero is 310 grams. Um, let's try, let's try mama bear. Get on there, mama bear. So when mama bear goes on, remember we take the papa bear weight, we push that over till it falls. So I go backwards one. And then I move these over notch by notch until it falls. Getting closer. Not quite. All right, so 80 is too heavy. All right, so I move back to 70 and I watch it go. And again, I'm gonna, let me pan out a little bit. I'm gonna slide this over until they line up perfectly. close. There we go. All right. So these lines pretty much line up. Uh, and now what do I do? I just add up the numbers. So that Papa Bear was zero plus 70 plus one. Now take a look at where that line is. That line, the little notch right in the middle here, it's kind of hard to see. But it's right there. That little arrow is pointing just after the one. It's at the point one. So I'm going to say that this is 71.1 grams, all right? So what you need to do, you need to realize that there are 10 little lines in between these numbers. Um, this would be 1.0, this is 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. Those longer lines are the halfway points, that's 5. 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 2.0, all right? If it landed here, that would be two point what? What do you think? I'll give you a second to think about it. Did you say 2.8? I hope you did because that is 2.8. Here is 2.5. Here's the five line, the longer line. Is that a pencil? No, of course not. Six, seven, eight, that's 2.8. All right, let me, uh, let's try baby bear. Baby bear, where are you? Okay, so I put baby bear on the scale. Baby bear didn't move at all. Baby bear is too light. Baby bear, you stink. Papa bear is gonna eat you. Go ahead, Papa bear. Oh. Chew on that. Oh no, <laughs> it went down the hatch and it's lost forever. Oh great. My licky tongue is in there somewhere, and it's never coming. Yes! It gave out. Get back in there. All right. Um, go eat some beef. Anyway, that's how to use the triple beam balance. Should we, should we do one more thing? Yeah, let's do Goldilocks, that criminal. All right, so when I put Goldilocks on top, notice that this goes flying up. Remember, we want to make it too heavy. I know that this is going to be too heavy. That's too heavy. So I pull it back one notch. I make it, I did the 10, that wasn't heavy enough. 20 is too heavy. So I pull it back one notch. All right, so I got that and I got that. And now I'm just gonna slide this over. There's no grooves for it to fall into. Slide this over until it gets balanced. So whenever you're reading the triple B melts, I always want you to read it to the nearest tenth of a decimal. How we doing? Are we good? Does that look good? A little bit more? A little more. How's that? All right, so what do I got? Let's see if you can answer this. See if you can figure out this out. We add up all three numbers. This is zero plus 10 plus Let's get in there, let's get real close. Let me click on that. All right, you think about this. What is that arrow pointing at? I'll give you a second. All right, hopefully you said, 
your answer is 10 plus, where's my finger? Finger, where are you? There you are. <laughs> 10 plus 4 plus 0.7. So I would say that my answer, Goldilocks here, weighs 14.7 grams. Is that what you said? Come on. Come on. Focus. Yeah, I hope you said 14.7 grams because that's what it is. All right, remember, when you're reading these lines, this is the whole number. That's 4. And anything in between the 4 and the 5 is a decimal point. This is 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.0, etc. All right, uh, that's good. Let's, um, let's end this. Say bye, Goldilocks.